Alright, my friend, we're going to start over again. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the original Magic Square, which is 14925, that's the first row out there, and the first column here. Okay, this is my original. From this original Magic Square, we made 64 different types of Magic Square, with the same numbers also. And they all add up, no matter how you add it up, from corners, to center, to diagonal, to rows and columns, whatever. And even next to each other, whatever numbers next to each other. Any four squares there. And this is how you do to create more. To create more, what we're going to do is, from the original one, we're going to copy the, you got the first column, to the last section. We're going to take that 14, 3, 13, 0, and put it in the end of the number that you see there. You see it? Copy that, and you put this in the end. You see it? The 9, 2, 5, 7, 12, 11. All we did was take this, 14, 3, 13, 0, and put it in the end, right? Now, since we're working with columns, we're going to take the, the first column here to make another one. 9, 4, 10, 7, and put it in the end, in the end of it. And it becomes this. Another main square. Repeat, okay, 2, 15, 1, 12, put it in the end, it becomes a new magic square. So you already create three of them out of one. If you do it again, it's going to repeat. So you don't want to do it anymore there. No more with columns. Now we go with rows. That's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this in here. See it? And we're going to take the first row. 14925 and put it on the bottom. Bang! Got another magic square. Okay? And the same thing you do this. Copy 10, 13, 10, 1, 6, and copy it here. And what you do with the first row, you put it on the bottom. It's rotating like a barrel, okay? Same goes here. Copy the 0, 07, 12, 11 in here. All of it. And then you take the first row and you copy it on the bottom, right here. There you go. You got all these magic squares. Now, here's the trick. How do you do more from what you got already for this set? This is a 16 magic square we're going to do. Okay? So far, you've made three on one side and three on the other one from one. So this is how you do it. The same thing. You take 14, 15, 8, 3 and put it down here and then you copy the first row that's right my friend easy right that's so easy anybody can do it or you can do it the other way here, here check, check this out 10 1 6 copy that whole section there put it in the beginning here and what do you do you copy the first column into the end now you see how this builds up do this so you build up 16 of them. That was the first method that I, I'm teaching you, okay? Now I'm going to teach you another method of how to get more from what you got there, okay? And this is what you do. Okay, here we go. We'll take this. This first one here, remember the original magic square? What we're going to do is spin it around clockwise. If you spin it around clockwise, What's going to happen to all these numbers? Right, the 0, 13, 3, and 14 is going to be right on top. Now let's take a look at that. You see it there? You see it? 0, 13, 3, and 14 from the previous one. The pre previous one. Here you go. And then you do the same thing. Build more. Okay? And then you take this one and you spin it around to make more. And it becomes this one. And then you got more there. And then you spin this around one more time to come up with this one. And from there, you can make more to the right, to the left. Bang. And you're going to have 16 here. 16 here. 16 here. And last but not least, this is the first 16 that we, you made. 
Isn't that awesome? Now you got 16 times 4 is 64 magic squares. As you can see, 16 times 4 is 64. Hey, be easy once you know how to do it. Just apply those two methods, the lowest DS method, and you should have no problem. Show to everybody and put some comments in my uh, YouTube. I would appreciate that. Pass it around the world. Alright? Give it a credit. I appreciate it. Thanks. Enjoy.